Greetings and welcome to Florence Ballard A3060, home of the Hotpoint 9530A, Mila W562 washing machines and the greatest girl group of all time, the Supremes. Okay, so as promised um, a couple of weeks ago, I did say that I was going to be showing you some of the washer parts that I own. Uh, these are parts that I've picked up over the years from scrap washing machines, both ones that I found thrown out on the streets and where I live, and also mainly from uh, British Heart Foundation, as well as one given, being given, uh, some parts given to me by a collector. So, there's the drawer, a very impressive pile of junk it looks like, and I'll be showing you what, uh, obviously where all of these come from. Okay, so, I'll show you this, and I'll just start, and I'm also going to be, in this video, I'm going to be, um, telling you what I'm getting rid of now. I know there are some people who will want parts from me. Unfortunately though, a lot of the parts that I've got, such as the doors and things like that, they've just literally been broken off the machine. They were, because I didn't have a screwdriver for me on time, so I've literally just run over to the machine, thrown all my body weight onto the door and it just snaps it off. Like it's just a souvenir to keep. Although some of the things I have been, uh, I have actually preserved and have kept for future parts. Um, so I'll tell you what I, I mean, I think I've got some stuff here though that's, um, actually, just, yeah, um, I have got some parts though that are genuine, they are genuine parts, um, but I'm, I'm just basically keeping only vintage stuff or things that I think are need, because I need to clear it out really, so anyway, we'll start off with, um, I'll just look at what to get, and then, okay, this is the draw front of a Bosch Max Advantage. Um, I can't remember what model number it was. This was found on uh, just around the corner from where I live. Um, my mum and her, well, my uncle, um, they'd gone out walking Robin the dog and they said that there was a Bosch that had been thrown. I took a picture of it and I saw it looked like a Bosch Classics. So well, I thought it was a Bosch XL. Ran it then and I got the, the uh, soap draw front off it. Um, I also, as well as that from it, I also got the door, which is what you've seen me use in my spin dryer videos. Um, this was, as you can see, it was ripped clean off the machine because I didn't have a torque screwdriver on me or anything. Uh, oh, that's actually, it's from a Bosch WFS, WFX 2868GB25, and I believe that it's from August 2006. But it's got the it's got the original door handle. So if anyone want, maybe wants the door catch or anything, door glass, um, just it's just the trim that is broken. But that's what came from the Bosch. Um, I've also got loads of user manuals as well. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's this. Let me have a look. Something there. Yeah. So that's what that is. Um, um, that I'll be getting rid of. Because I don't really have uh, interest for Bosch washing machines in my collection. Well, for parts. This here is from a is a soap drawer from a Zanussi AquaCycle 800. It's one of the ones after the Zanussi Nexus range, I think. And uh, I've also got the conditioner compartment that comes with it. It's mouldy as anything. This was thrown out on the estate again. Uh, but I can give that a clean up should anyone want that. Three. Yeah, I'll just bleach it. Okay. Oh, I like this idea. It's got all your programs on there and everything. As you can see. Judging by the blue and green markings, it was sold along the Zanussi Nexus range. Um, again, we'll be uh, getting rid of that. Uh, the Bosch Classics door, I might be, I'll see about that, what anyone wants. Um, let me have a look in this, this, oh god, I've hit the spinner ends. Okay, these are some parts I do like talking about. I've got to try, they're all caught up with each other in here. Let's try and get it out. Okay. These are the hoses that came originally with the Hotpoint 9530. Um, obviously I needed, because of where the machine is sitting, uh, I need uh, to have uh, extension hoses, but if 
I do plan to move the meter and the hot point around someday, or when the 9530 eventually goes into storage, when I get my garage, it's going to be put back with these hoses. Uh, these are the original hoses, I believe, that it must have come with. Very clean. So, yes, those are being kept because they're for, from the, they're for the 9530. Um, I'm trying to keep them out of view. It's quite difficult to do because I have to reach up from one side and grab from the other. This here is what's left of the original hose of the Hoover Spinner Rinse. Um, in fact, no, there's another part, the hooked part where it comes out. Basically, this basically snaps because of how old it was. It leaked and it, I needed to get a new one. So that's a fit a drain hose. Um, I've kept that as a memory of it, but to be honest, I think I'm just gonna probably throw that out because there's no point having that here. I try so hard with it to try and, I try to make the nozzle that they're a bit wider. That didn't work, so unfortunately I will be getting rid of that. Uh, it's a shame though, I want to find another original Hoover hose because these are so much better quality and it's what the machine's designed for. Because I like this idea, it hooks over the sink. Um, of course, Hoover spin dryers pump out a very fast rate. And uh, Okay, so rather than just pick out parts individually, I'm just going to go through what I've got here instead so it doesn't make it too boring. This here, um, here, is the original hose that the 9530 came with. Now, when I was originally planning to have a standpipe put in, of course, this wouldn't approve, not the standpipe, I was originally having to have it plumbed into the sink. Uh, this would not have done. So if I, I mean, also I spent 3 dollars on a new drain hose. It's a good idea that I bought a new drain hose anyway, but this is the original one it came with. Uh, I can obviously fit it again if, I, if needs be, really, because uh, it doesn't leak or anything. Um, and I just attach it to the old, to the old, uh, to the current one. The, the, you know, the, the extension hose that goes into the sink. I can just attach that on there. So I am keeping that. And there's that to, to keep pile, because it's all for the 9530. Now, in this drawer, which is off a hot point WMA54, same as the drawers as well, this was, this was actually full of soap pad. That's my toothbrush I use for cleaning the 9530's drawer with. This was thrown out on the corner of the estate, and after one Taekwondo lesson, I went round there and took off all so many parts. Uh, this is a hot point badge on it. I see Aquarius 6 kilogram. It was a WMA 54, 1200 RPM. So for Janik Saranj or Mila Washer Lover 2000, no, Washer Guy 2002, uh, that's what he'd like to see. This is the this is uh, the same conditioner compartment. This actually comes from a hot point Ultima WT 960G. They came into British Heart Foundation with very bad bearings and shock absorbers. Uh, so I, st I took this out of there in case I'd ever need that. Um, of course, WMA, I'm not looking at keeping this, but I want to keep the hot point badge for it. Um, although I can't, I will get rid of that. if I will give that to someone who wants it for a WMA. Uh, it will fit all WMA models, including the Ultimas, but if you need it for an Aquarius 6 kilogram model in polar white, then definitely take it. In this door, I keep all the primer knobs and all small parts so they don't get lost and scattered around so this here i'm hoping you guys might remember what this is i don't think i don't know maybe not these parts are from my cousin's simpson washing machine that she threw out in um australia when we got the new one um i'm just trying to see if i can figure out where oh they only had two knobs that did i think or one I don't know where the other. I don't know where the. I don't know where else the other one's going to. Um, but this is what I, I took from it. So I took that and the conditioner. Obviously, the, the part that goes in the agitator. So I don't think anyone's going to be needing those. So actually, in some way, I'm going to be getting rid of those. The Bosch door. I'm probably thinking. Actually, I might just chuck that because it's quite badly damaged. Um, let's see what else we got. This is the timer knob off a hot point WD420. Uh, the timer, it's like selector knob. Or it might be the WD440, actually. I can't remember which one it is. But it's very much like the WMA Aquarius ones, as you can see. My hand's got soap powder on it. <laughs> I don't know what soap powder they've used in there, but I put it in the Calgon box, so I sometimes just use it when I'm playing with my toy washing machines. So I'll keep that. I like keeping all the little. I keep all the little time knobs. There's nothing wrong with those. This is off a. I think this is off a WMA58, and it was given to me by Electronic Deluxe. Um, 
because he had to clear out some of his parts, as you know from the washing videos. So he gave me a WMA time and I think that's from a WMA 58. I don't know if it's from the one I had at British Heart. No, the one at British Heart Foundation got uh, got sold. So yeah, I've got that. That can actually go with the WMA 54, actually. But I, to be honest, I'm actually going to be keeping that. I'm going to keep the conditioner command. I'm going to keep all small parts. This was actually out of a hot point WM52 at first edition 1000 at British Heart Foundation. It's essentially the, the same, it's the same kind of condition compartment on the 9.5 series. Well, on pretty much the 1.8 series as well. But this is, I think, it's actually from a WMA range. Um, uh, sorry, WMA, WM range. Uh, but it was attached, the draw of the WM52 was attached to the draw of a 9.5 series. So I took this out of there in case the 9.530s one ever gives up. So I'll keep that. Um, yeah. Just put that in the to keep pile. <laughs> I might actually reattach that back to the 9530. I don't know, maybe give it more of a vintage look again. Oh no, it wouldn't. I know why I got rid of it because it doesn't have the rubber bit on the end, so therefore it wouldn't connect to it, would not connect to the extension hose. That's why I did it. That was right, that was why. But the to go pile is there. This is the timer knob of a Hot Point Aquarius Reverse Somatic pl Dryer Plus TL21P. It came to British Heart Foundation. We have two of those coming actually. Um, it could also be used for the washer dryers, the WD20 and WD30 um, models. WD, yeah, the WD range. Um, but I took that out of there, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy I actually got that. Um, it's very much like a 95 series timer. But I'll keep that. I like keeping the little time and often what I find. Not the WMA58 one's been thrown. Now then, this is the interlock of a... I think this is from a WMA64, actually. Because uh, Electronic Deluxe had a WMA64 once that was been sold. And he basically gave this to me. Because, of course, everyone knows I used to have a WMA64. So it's good I have this and should I ever get one again? Because I am looking to, when I get a collection, it'll be one of the first machines I get. So, yes, unfortunately, I am keeping that. What's this? Oh, an official Miele spanner to take the transit rods out. Um, as well as the interlock. I think that came with his W Classic, I think it was. No, I think it's his W1 it, it came with. Now, you all know what colour this is. It might not show up well on camera. This is actually natural linen. It's from the WMA46 that went that went wrong in BHF, the overfilling one. So if I compare this with the WMA58, um, you can see what the difference is between, you know, how it, you can see how it, how it changed over, over time. I do like the WMA58 one. I do like the WMA46 one, no more. One more model up, that would have been the WMA48, and I wish it was. But yeah, this, I like this. I prefer the the grip on it to the one on the on the, on the later six kilogram models. Um, so I'll keep these because it's obviously Miele. I'll keep anything Miele as we know. <laughs> now then, this is something I definitely want to be rid of. Uh, you might you might be thinking, what the hell is that? I think it's part of the interlock. On I don't know what it what it is, but it's from a Maloney service. And of course, we all know that I don't like Maloney machines, as a lot of washer fans don't. So if there's anyone who has a Maloney... Well, no, actually, I'm just trying to get rid of all my Maloney stuff. I don't want it here um, and whatnot. So, yeah, that's going to go. I think it's off uh, service M3... M3010, I think it's off. Now, I've got a lot of stuff off WM ranges and WDs. So I think I'm just going to group them all together. Do I have any more? None. Okay. These are the timer knobs and a variable, well, it could be a variable spin selector. It's actually a drying timer. These two belong together. Now, foolishly, on the day I had the washing with Electronic Deluxe, I came back and there was a WD61 that had been thrown out, an Aquarius 1100 washer dryer. The only thing wrong with it was a drawing element, and I decided not to take it. 
I wish I had now, because I'm sure there was a way I could have made it go to 1200 in some way. I would have been happy to have had one. Uh, the only reason I didn't take it is because I would, if I get a w, WD61, I want one of the Cassata models. But I'm keeping that should any more WMs or even Creda models come along. This is off a WM53, first edition 1200 that I found thrown out next to Heathrow Airport back in 2014. This is off a WM52, that's off the one at BHF. That got, uh, obviously, the capacitor went bang. Ah, here is what came off the Ariston A1436 that I tested. That was a really cool machine that I tested. Fortunately, though, it didn't get pat it didn't pass the pat test. So it was one of those ones where you push it against the fascia and it pops out. This one, though, just did not want to stay pushed in. It kept popping out. It get the plastic it kept popping out. It's a, it's a spring, basically. That's the variable spin time, is the 1400. So, um, I keep all the timer knobs, unless it's, of course, now, I'm sure I had a third one of these. I think some people will know already what machines these are from. They're all from the same type, type of machine. Um, I'm sure there's a... Aha, there it is. These are all from, <coughs> of course, Maloney Services. That's from the Caress 1000 that I found. Uh, Brit tested BHF. These are from the Easy Logic washer dryer. And these are from Electronic Deluxe. They are from a silver and chrome one Easy Logic. I've got to say the chrome ones I don't particularly mind in a way, but I still dislike them. Um, so they are going to go... Yeah, the one thing I won't be keeping. The feet off the WMA54. Um, I don't know if anyone would want those, but at the moment I would keep the. I'm, I'm keeping anything WMA because I start from the door. Because I won't really be getting a square door model. I'm not really fond of these ones. This is what normally you find on top of a Maloney service. I don't know how that one was preserved in such good condition. Oh, this is the variable temperature knob off the Ariston. I wonder if they could fit the Ariston margaritas, actually. Um, these are off an in the insert, I think, WIDL126. But I've no interest for keeping them now. Time is just something I picked up. Oh, that's the other one from The Simpsons. There we are. That was the... I can't remember what that actually did. One was the wash setting program. Yeah, uh, yeah. One was the wash program. Yeah. Uh, this right. This is off one of those house or HEC models that you find, um, like the Curry's or Curry's Essentials model. These are notorious for, for finding these scraps. So I used to just pull the time and the knobs off these all the time. Um, I'm not having an interest for keeping those. Now these are little, you're wondering, you must be thinking, what the hell are these, right? Those are from the pipes, the inlet hoses. These plastic clips, right, are what actually hold in the trims on Hotpoint 9.5 series and obviously the 9.7 and 9.9 series. However, the one that I've got on my 9.530 is a standard trim. And it's, it's got little, like, plastic rivets. So, plastic lugs, I mean, rather than having the square ones, which would fit it securely to the, cap, the, to the worktop, which is why I had, to hack, I had to hacksaw them off and literally stick it on with, uh, with, uh, with foam pads. So, I will be keeping those if I get a nut, because obviously I'm bound to find a new generation and have those. Two hot point badges, one's from a WD... Um, I can't remember, WD... WDM73, and the other is from, I think it was from the WMA46 that I kept. So, I keep those things. These are the spaces, these are what came with the new trims for the 9530. But I think it's just one for all types of 95s. So, unfortunately, it didn't fit. But although it said it fitted the 9530. Okay. Here's the door of the WMA54. Of course, it's got a nice cushioned pad which I like 
very dirty though. Um, so unfortunately it does not have the sticker. Oh no, the sticker was on was not on the door on some of these. I think this has had a replacement door. This was actually taken off the machine with a screwdriver, so but however Ah now I know why it now I know why it didn't start, because the, the latch has broken on it. So unfortunately that's that's pants basically. <laughs> that's goosed. We won't be using that. Now I know why it didn't start, because I, I I never checked the door on that. Let's have a bit more of a look. These are pipes I've just picked up over time. I think this was from a Maloney service rain wave. Or maybe the grey pipes. Well, I don't know where these are from, the grey ones. I know the hot point came with blue and red, though. These are, I think, just from ones I found on the estate. Um, but it's good. I mean, good I keep stuff like this. I've got, I've got, I've got endless bloody pipes. Well, if there's only one that wants... Aha, uh -huh, I think we've got an extension, sort of an extension... Oh, that's an extension hose, that is. Taken from a dishwasher. But of course, I've already got two cold extension hoses downstairs. Drive belt of an indesert, but that could probably fit a hot point as well. I won't be needing that. No. Here is the user manual for the WMA63, as well as the warranty and the sticker for it. Uh, I remember, see, it covers WMA63 and WMA62. I'm glad I kept that. I've got a load of manuals that I'm going to sort out and fits, uh, obviously I'm keeping them all. Uh, a Bosch iron. No, this was from a Bosch Logix 8 washer dryer that never made it into the warehouse at BHF. Um, this is from that Zanussi jet system. I thought it's something from. Ah, uh, hang on. This is my Z F W F one four zero seven zero W. Oh, I don't remember getting that one in. This was the jet system. Oh no, we had a Zanussi Essentials model that I never got to test as well. I think it was given to Cricklewood. Um, so I keep all these man. I keep every manual I find. This was from a washing basket and it actually is an Ariston Margarita on there. Very like I think it's a 1980s model. This was a confirmation of a part that I got for the for uh, a Y a Y piece uh, to connect two hoses to. Um, so I keep I well I won't really be needing that now. Aha here you go for all you hot point WMA fans. This is the PCB off a WMA64. Um, of course, I'll be keeping it once again because I never know when I'm going to be finding a WMA64. It's really interesting to look into that, actually. I hope to God I do find a WMA1. Well, I, they are very common still. Moving on. Right, this is the door off a hot point, I think TDS, oh, I can't remember which one it is, it's a compact dryer, it was broken off, that does not fit sadly. This is what holds the hoses in place in the back of, I can't remember what kind of machine. A mesh filter, just basically that's what I cleaned out on the Mila, which made it now fill a lot faster than normal. Ah, this was from, this was from my um, Auntie Shirley's hot point. WD62. It hot point gave them another badge. Not sure why for the WD62 because it was the WD64 that had that. But this is probably the only. Look how clean that is. I'll never take that out of the packing packaging. So no, I'm glad. I'm glad I have that as preservation. These I don't need filters and whatnot. Oh, hang on. I don't know. I now this has come from one of my irons actually when I bought my iron from Tesco. So. We wouldn't want that. <laughs> the kick strip off the WMA54, very grubby. Um, again, ugh, I did. Oh, friggin' hell. Oh, my hands are grubby. Oh, if you wonder what the cut is, I did that at um, Yvel the other day. Scratched a bit, probably from when they pulled it up onto the pavement. That'll go. Not even going to give time cleaning that. This is the 
and as you best buys and it was what my medivac came with um, that should actually be in the other drawer for the vacuum cleaners um, right this is the control panel and timer module for timer off a Maloney service rain wave 900 washer dryer this has all the parts for it a rain wave 900 washer dryer um, including the liquid dispenser I don't know what that was. Oh, because I tried to figure out when it was made. And this is the filter of it. Cleanest drawer, I will say. Obviously, not my type of machine. Um, but it's got all the options. Very much like the Diplomat model, actually. And the Service Gem. So that'll be half load. See, so even clicks as well. No spin. Extra rinse. Half. Oh, no, that's pre-wash. Half load, of course, on and off. Drying timer, it actually has the viewing window. As with all Malo a lot of Maloney's, you push in and then. And the program timer. It's nice hearing it though, I will say that. I mean. I do like the look of it, but I just said I'm not a Maloney person. I'm not really one for... The only Maloney I'd probably ever have is the Diplomat integrated washer-dryer. Maybe one... I don't know, maybe as long as it doesn't have service on it. But that's what it's... That's what it looks like. And it's bloody heavy, I'll tell you that. It's even got all the screws from the back. I also have the back plate of it, which I'll show you. Um, ah, these... Here's the Y piece that I got for the 953 as well as part of its uh, old tube. Um, that I've got there, the old, so I'll keep that in case I ever need that. Jubilee clips in there. Here is the only part I actually have of the White Knight. It's the filter, uh, the, the lint filter, so I kept that. I wanted the memory of that tumble dryer because it was a great dryer. I'm sad I never got to do a video of it though. I'll keep that. Now, this is the drawer from the WD-61 and it's got the liquid, it's got it in the liquid. Uh, obviously the liquid um, configuration. I love the draw on these. I really wish I'd save that machine now because at the time I did not have the 9530 and I could have had it or sold it on. This would also fit a WD-62, this draw. Um, it would fit any of them. Obviously the WD-63 though and WD-64 uh, would have looked like they would have had theirs like that basically. It would it would have had it would have had the badge about there, really. So yeah, that's what that looked like. I wish I'd save the draw of the WDM seventy three. Oh wow, I didn't know it was styled like that. But it's pretty clean. But once again, shameful regrets that I never saved that. Um, but I will save one when it does come along. Wish I got in the door. Right then, that is that is actually it for um, all the washer parts I have. That's what I'm keeping at the moment. I'm getting rid of these. Um, I won't be really giving these to anyone because they've been through a bit of abuse. But um, if I do save any more from BHF, just let me know because I will be going... Well, you all know what the story is about British Art Foundation. Um, and I will save things that come along. Um, it's just this not... I want it gone out of the house. And I want it... You know I mean? I don't want to have it cluttering the place up. Um... So, anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching that. Um, what's tomorrow? I might be doing a all cycles and options video of the 9530, um, maybe tomorrow, instead of, instead of doing a wash race, because at the moment with the wash races, I'm trying to figure out something where the hot point's not going to uh, not going to win that. Um, so we'll have to just see what happens. Uh, but aside from that, yes, guys, it's been... Uh, been a pleasure that i've reached 800 subscribers and thank you all for your kind comments those who are on instagram with me um i will be soon doing a video telling you what is going to be expected in the next month i will be doing that towards the end of may so do stay tuned for that and um from me anyway guys uh enjoy your weekend wherever you are in the world and don't forget keep it supreme and i just say keep it supreme and go with the flow